Making home improvements doesn't have to be complicated. At West Tennessee Bank, we have the money you need to make the upgrades you want. Come talk with our experienced loan officers and tell us how much you need. West Tennessee Bank, a division of Decatur County Bank. We think you'll like us. Equal Housing Lender member FDIC. Available. 
uh, having a good working relationship with their mentor that goes beyond just this work week, continues throughout the course of the year, just to have somebody as a go-to person outside of the building principal or others who can support them and help make sure that they're just as successful because again, it's going back to our kids. Uh, but very, very impressed. We've got actually one on the list. Mark Massey has since us providing you that list. He's the last one bulleted on the certified staff. He has taken a job somewhere else and uh, as of today or yesterday, hired a uh, girl in replacement, Lauren Malika, who's worked for our school system before. But uh, Dr. Catlin was able to secure her for that same position. Then there's been a few uh, uh, classified staff added uh, in addition. One's Anita Weekly, uh, who's a part-time TA at the middle school. Uh, Andy Morris, who's going to be just doing some coaching at the high school. And a, uh, another individual, female named uh, Tina Drager, is that how you pronounce her name, who's going to be a bus driver. So, in addition to those, those were the additional ones that had uh, came about after providing you guys this list. <coughs> All right, the next thing we can just look at real quick is a few updates. And uh, one of the things we were talking about the press box, and uh, I was over there today, and uh, Edward was over there, and Coach Eves was there, and some of the other coaches, and they were kind of deciding what was going to be on the press box. My understanding, Coach, was down about three or four feet high, possibly off the floor, going to be the blocks. Split, split face block. Split face block. It's got it. It's on the downstairs. It's on the cheerleading ramp. Yeah. And it's on the school too. Yeah. So we, we, we thought it fit better. And then also we're going to have a blue, basically a line around about three or four feet yeah. up. Yeah, two by four covered with metal that'll yeah. cap it. Then it'll be siding from there up. But I think it's going to look really good. Siding on, on the shape drive. It, it'll be from there up. The stadium drive is going to be side it's all, all side on that side. Yeah. And the roof, they adjusted the roof. If yeah, you noticed, it's yeah. more of a flat roof. There is a slight yeah. hitch, this very slight. Yeah. Ed was a little concerned about the warranty of the roof, but, but again, for the safety, <laughs> it's more important yeah, for the guys who's going to be on that roof to yeah. make sure that they're not going to have any tripping hazards. Yeah. The, um, the railing's going to be just like the cheerleaders. It's going to look exactly like it, so it'll and he had seen the thing he's going to be able to get that done. We were looking to, we, we did run into the siding that we wanted. It would be a special order and take two weeks or more to get here, but they found another one, so we're going to look at a different style tomorrow, and it's in our stock. So, so we had said, still, is he still, still the eight? eight? Oh, yeah, we're, 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 yeah, he told me the eight. I as long as we can get the siding on board, we bet Jamboree on the 12. Yes. You're I think everything looks good. You don't have an eagle to put up there? Not right away. It, but there was talk today about either going with a metal sign. They're going to work on it, but what we're going to get to put on there. Well, we will eventually have a We're going to yeah, say the back side is going to be all siding, so you can. You can put something. They're going to put something there, but they want to get something nice. And, and mm -hmm. It's going to be a little bit before we do decide. There, go ahead. You know how the vinyl on one end down there is sort of messed up. You know the end next to the high school. We can get a. We're gonna have a stadium day with the maintenance guys, and we're just gonna. I mean, that looks we're gonna blanket good. the whole thing. I think you can stand on the roof there and do some work, but if not, we'll work. what is the siding? Uh, it's needing it cleaning. No, well, it's, it's, it's bustled. Bustled. sort of bustled up. Okay. Bustled. Several. Got yeah, back from way that high wind. Uh, I think it blew it off and it just didn't get put on very well. No. But it's, we'll get, we're going to get that square door. It looks bad. Yeah, you know, we had, Britt and I had already talked about making sure with that new look there to make sure, and we will, uh, had Ray Asbita already paint the, the metal, uh, poles, the metal the poles under the awning. Yeah. So we're going to keep that, uh, or have it dressed up really nice for that jamboree. Have the lights got turned on? The uh, everything is we got the the rough end inspections done uh, Monday.
Monday they're going to hook up the meter. We got to get our southwest is next and put the power to it, and then next week we'll. We might have a trial run without you guys, because in case we start pulling things like uh, like Clark Griswold on Christmas vacation, <laughs> we're going to make sure they turn on before we have everybody out for a party. We sure don't want to, you know, get on the newspaper blacking out most of Henderson, but everything. I met with SM Lawrence today about getting the hold back with the asphalt and, and, and finalizing and finishing it up. And so, that's soccer field the same. Same boat. I think it's. I think it's got power, but it's one of those that doesn't have a meter and it doesn't, they rather it's not turning on until it's final. Um, so. said that it was hooked up originally from the day one that that school was open the plumbing was it was in the chase between the bathrooms it crossed in there the plumbing let the hot water leak bleed back in the water. so it was it was original the day it was open it was done that way it's been that way for years so. hot water so it's hot water. they're gonna say the power the, the power bill is going to drop tremendously from having to heat that much water for that many years well, I guess it was gas, so it'll be the gas deal that'll drop. So. Yeah. Right, the county insurance is on the 29th. We're all invited. Yes, yeah. that's why it's included in the pack. Yeah. Again, if you notice the structure of it, uh, Jill Faulkner, Randall Fenimore, Sarah Gibbett, Amy Quinn have really put in a lot of effort to make sure that this is truly an in service day for the teachers not only for the certified teachers, but also for the classified staff, and paraprofessionals. Uh, those sessions are breakout sessions where there are specific um, lessons that's gonna be delivered during that time by staff that's already working. This is not where we're recruiting people to come in and tell us how better to do our game. These are our best practices that are occurring and then we're having them present to the rest of the staff. Uh, Jill mentioned today that there's over 80 sections uh, are going to be arranged. So it's um, there's been a lot of effort and work to get our local people to be uh, ready to present. And it's, we're looking forward to the opportunity. Uh, we'd ask you, again, that starts at 1145 for the recognition of the Teachers of the Year, the, those getting honored for retirees and service pins. I'd ask you to get there about 15 minutes early if you can about the state, or state Teacher of the Year. Still the same place. She's one of the top nine. I don't yeah, know I if it progressed any year. Well, <clears throat> once you reach the top nine, that means those nine are invited to Nashville for that presentation. So I don't know. Well, if it was like it was in Kathy's case last year, <coughs> I didn't know until we got there when one of the guys called me over and says, "Hey, she's going to be it. Be ready." So um, we look forward to it. I mean, it's an accomplishment to be there two years. Because we kicked over the uh, got the bleachers at the junior high, and what I'm seeking is to go with um, go ahead and do some uh, uh, put the specs out and take the bids.
that the junior high in your discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. All the snow. Okay, we'll put that up the bid. Uh, do you want the auditorium update? One yeah. the sand paper. We've sanded the floor down, repaired all the wood. We've got a little more fine sanding to do. Then we'll have that floor painted black. Uh, curtain. Shane has got me some. The, the curtain's got holes in it. It's duct tape. It's used to hit it when need a new curtain. So I'm going to contact some of those vendors to see about getting the curtain replaced. The elect the electricity, the, the electrical work in that auditorium it is is substandard. It's I've had that said Lawrence come by and look at it because when you turn some lights off, the emergency lights go off and then come on, go on battery power because they're wired in wrong and the fire marshal has tagged us on that before. So I can't believe he hadn't done that before now. Oh, he's, well, he said a few things. He missed it last time, but it's not good. And I think sometimes when they put some, they plug some loads in on the stage like the band doing a concert, they, they, they start throwing breakers and it goes a little haywire. So we're going to get that looked at. So we're on the way, so the stage four will be complete. Hopefully, within this next week, we'll have it ready to roll. Was it Ed we're, that we were going to talk to about? See, I him. haven't got to him yet, but we'll see okay. if he, what he's got out there. If he comes across anything, we'll get, we'll get okay. that. And the junior high is taken care of as far as we didn't have to do any construction. Okay. Got that line coming in Wednesday, we'll have it put in, and that should take care of the. You know, have to do any more construction. No doors. No feet. doors. No one. Nothing. Is. And the wall in the classroom and high school. It's done. It's done. Yeah, it's done. Fire marshal approved. Yeah, he did look. We asked him. He looked, and he was good. Anything else? Anything? All schools are clean. All clean. We're back, ready to go. We're square uh, stiffing up. I saw some last minute shrub, shrub, shrub trimmings, trimmings last minute stuff. So we'll, we plan to be ready. We'll have a stadium day and we'll have that ready. We'll be good to go. Yeah. Make a motion with you, Jack. I'm going to get a second. Just a second. Uh, are you sure? I'm sure. They say we need to get a little bit of a second.